Now we'll see how to design primers for PCR uh, and also for real-time PCR. In case of real-time PCR, we are also designing a probe. So how to design primers? So for that, we need to go to NCBI's uh, nucleotide core. And this is the hyperlink for that. And once you are in this website, give a search. And today I want to design primers and probes for human CD2 gene. So what I will do is I'll type in homo sapiens CD2 molecule mRNA and I'll give a search. So once you give a search, actually you have an option to select if you are trying to design for animals or if you want mRNA. So uh, these are pre-selected because that's what I was designing before. So I select animals and then I select mRNA. So that is what I want. And so once I'm here, I will choose the transcript variant too because this is the accession number I was seeing in publication. So uh, uh, I know this is what I want. But, but many times you will see that uh, Homo sapiens, the gene name that you want and straight away there is mRNA, there are no transcript variants. Uh, try to ignore, because you get almost 56 searches, uh, try to ignore the ones with complete CDs, uh, which you will see many and uh, you will also see many other related or unrelated genes uh, to CD2. So for now, we'll go to uh, transcript variant 2. I'll click that. So at this time, you want to make a note of what the accession number is, what is the locus, nm underscore 001767. And you want to note down that it is 1582 base pairs and it's an mRNA and it is linear. And uh, pretty much just copy paste this information into your Word document or an Excel, whichever you're following. And the definition, the whole name, uh, sometimes you might want to go and refer back what kind of variant it is. So this is also information that you would want to note it down. So once you are here, it gives uh, lots of uh, publications and those things that are related to this gene. For now, we are not interested in that. So we'll go down. Once you go down, so you will see exons. So this is an important information for you to design. So you will see here that there are two four exons, uh, 125 to 445 region of the basis, 446 to 676, 677 to 799, 800 to 1565. So these are the exons. So you want to make a note of those exons. What are those exons? And uh, you will have to target at certain exon uh, for your design because you want to design primers or probes at the junctions of exons. So you have to target one of those uh, start points of an exon. So here is an mRNA sequence. You will see it. So these are at a set of 60 in each, each line here. So 1 to 60, 61 to 120 and so on. So you have all the whole mRNA sequence here. So what you do is you copy paste this in information sequence and you will also save that information on your word document and also the exon numbers the the regions you want to note it down for your future reference so once you do that what you do is you have to go into uh, uh, primer 3 software this is a free software also it's available online and it's, it's a very famous software quite popular there are many other options to design your primer so this is one of the uh, most used uh, software. So I usually design it here. Uh, there are also some publications which, which show an advancement of this software, this software, and, and what are those advancements. So uh, what you do here is you go here and paste your, your mRNA sequence. And once you paste the mRNA sequence, uh, you want to pull down this menu and say that this is human. And then you want to select a left primer and right primer, which are already selected, but you should also select a hybridization probe. There's an internal oligo, uh, which is required for real-time PCR. And once you are here, you need to select an overlap junction. 
So I had noted it down that uh, uh, in case of uh, CD2, my last exon starts at 800. So I want to choose that uh, as an overlap junction. So I will say 800. <clears throat> so that is where my primers, one of the primers will be designed. And once I do that, I go further down and then here are general primer picking conditions. So these are by, def by default given. So what I do is I change this to 22 uh, minimum size and maximum size. So my optimal size would be around 20 basis. Uh, and I say 58 degrees to 62 degrees and my optimum is 60 degrees for TM, the melting temperature. And I don't touch this and I want to select 40 to 60 percent the G and C percentage. So my optimum should be 50. So this is something that I select for primers. So then I go further down and I will see the same information for my oligo. So I say uh, because I'm going to design my mm, order my probes which would, which would be for MGB non-fluorescent quencher. So for me a 20 base pair basis is, is good enough. And similarly 58 to 62 of TM and then 40 to 60 GC percentage I select and that is all. I don't do much and uh, most of the conditions that are required for the primers and probes are already taken care of by the software. So then I go down and I say pick primers. So once I do it, it will, it will select the primers for me. As you can see, the start of this primer is 789. It is going uh, for 22 basis of length. So it covers my junction region, uh, exon to exon junction region which I said should be around 800. So that is covered. So uh, so this is the information I get. And so this is my first primer, uh, the left primer. And this is my right primer. And this is the probe. So once we have this information, if you go down, it will show it which region it has designed primers and probes for you. And it also gives additional oligos, additional primers and probes different sequences uh, around that junction so so you can you can note down and if you want to uh, order more than one primer probe sets you can order and check and see which one works well for you so for now let's just choose this information what i do at this time is to we need to be make we need to be sure that our primers amplify the region that we are interested in. It doesn't overlap or there are no other genes which are sharing same sequences that our primers would uh, would uh, go and amplify. So for that we need to do a BLAST search. So I select this region, I go into BLAST.ncbi. So this hyperlink you can check it out. And I click Nucleotide BLAST. And once I'm here I paste my sequence and then I go down to the database and I make sure that it is human genomic plus transcript. That is the da database. Uh, I think by default it selects the mouse, so you need to change it to this. Uh, and once I do that and I click blast. So, so it takes some time, anywhere from 10 seconds to minute, two minute or even longer sometimes. So to save time, I have already done that. So this is the result that you get after you do it. And you see that there are few sequences that are matching 100% to this primer uh, in, in the human genome. So if you go down and see the max score is 44 and it is 100% matching with CD2 mRNA. So that is what is of interest to you because you might find many other predicted regions and those things. Which, which you shouldn't worry at this time. So this is a sequence which comes up first. So, so you are pretty sure that your primer is amplifying the region that you are really interested in. And similarly, you will check, uh, do the same search with your other primer and probe and make sure that it is amplifying CD2 mRNA or your gene of interest. So once that is done, you are pretty much secured and uh, you can place order for primers and probes 
uh, in in relation to probe you choose your own uh, uh, fluorescent molecule and then the quencher the detector and quencher so uh, a fan is the detector of my interest and ngb is the quencher of my interest which is a non fluorescent one too and uh, uh, probe is is an expensive uh, uh, aspect of your real time pcr because the primers you can buy for 10 20 dollars but probe is anywhere from 100 to 150 or even more so one one easier approach is to order the the primers the left and right primers of uh, more than one pair uh, from your primer 3 software searches and do a cyber green real time pcr assay and check uh, if your primers are amplifying which set of your primers are amplifying better and uh, out of that you can choose the right primer set and then order uh, an appropriate probe that you have already designed and then you can order that uh, with the FAM and the Tamra or FAM and NGB combination and, and use it. So that is the way to design your primers and probes online. So, uh, so thank you very much.